The reason I haven't been creating recently is because I've been unhappy with myself and my current situation. I'm not where I want to be, and as a result, I've been depressed and stressed. But the thing is, I have no idea where I want to be. I've constantly been comparing my life to people I look up to, people who've made it. I would always dream about having what they have and doing what they do. And what I finally realized is that their lives are great, don't get me wrong, but never try to live somebody else's life. Go out, get what you want, and make it for yourself, in your own way. No two paths are the same. I have a constant desire to work and make progress towards my goals, and once I find my passion, my work ethic is sickening. But as of late, that passion and desire to improve has been non-existent. Since I moved to college, I've had trouble making friends, having fun, and continuing to do what I love. As a result, I've spent countless hours in my room reading, writing, and thinking to myself. And one thing I've learned over the years is that sitting and feeling sorry for yourself will get you absolutely nowhere in life. I could continue to sit here and daydream about all the things I want to do and all the places I want to go, or I could get off my ass and go do them. I've made the commitment to myself to rekindle that fire inside my heart and continue to grind day in and day out to make my dreams become a reality. People think that I'm antisocial, depressed, and obsessed because of the countless hours that I'm cooped up in my room staring at a computer screen trying to get better at what I do. But the thing is, I am obsessed. Obsession is passion on curiosity steroids. I know exactly what I want out of my life, and at the same time, I'm completely clueless. All I know is that I gotta keep working towards what I want and never, ever give up. Now, I don't know much, but I know this. Somebody could take the same hand you've been dealt and win with it. Peace. Change is one of the most difficult things that we face, but change is inevitable. One reason we don't like change is we get comfortable where we are. We get used to our friends, our job, the place we live, and even if it's not perfect, we accept it because it's familiar. And what happens is because we're not willing to change, we get stuck in what God used to do instead of moving forward into what God is about to do. And just because God's blessed you where you are doesn't mean you can just sit back and settle there. You have to stay open to what God is doing now. What worked five years ago may not work today. If you're going to be successful, you have to be willing to change. Every blessing is not supposed to be permanent. Every provision is not supposed to last forever. We should constantly evaluate our friendships. Who's speaking into your life? Who are you depending on? Make sure they're not dragging you down, limiting you from blossoming. Everybody is not supposed to be in our life forever. If you don't get rid of the wrong friends, you will never meet the right friends.